Okay, so you want to look good on Monolith RP. Yeah, that's understandable. I do too. As you can see, I dress in the highest of fashion. Top hat. Pink scarf. Nice, nice suit. All right, it's not a, not a cheap look to pull off. You know, you want this look, you're going to need to work for it. Pull out some cash. Actually, we'll do this at the uh, we'll do this at the tailor. We don't need to do this here. All right, so uh, this guy right here, he's gonna get us looking fresh as a. So when you're here, you're going to click on the guy. He's gonna bring you over here, and he's going to ask you what you want to wear. That being cheap bastard that you probably are right now, you're probably gonna only be able to afford, you know jeans, the stained pants, the dark blue khakis, you know, the good shit, all right? But once you, uh, you know, once you start working up there, you get to the formal suits, all right? This is the real crazy shit here. Most of it's for premiums. So really think about that premium before you, uh, start grinding on here. You can get a basic black suit for about 20k, maybe a little bit less. I think it's 25k for non-premiums. You can get the white suit if you want it to uh, really stand out as 20k. Then there's half suits, which I don't know who in their right mind would wear these. They're ugly as shit. There's cops wear these. Don't wear these. Clothes suits are for the real gangsters. These are for the real OGs right here. Real businessmen, real clothes suits, all right? Now, me personally, I, I actually like uh, the trench coat suits. These are for the uh, the bosses, all right? These are for the scary boys. And any one is perfect, all right? You can't go wrong with the trench coat suit combo, okay? Any one that suits you. Three-piece suit's also decent. You know, you can't go wrong there, but uh, it's, you know, it's not the look for me. It's usually a cop look. Now, with the suits, you're going to want a nice tie, too. You can't just have be walking around with any tie. you got to have a anything, really. It doesn't really matter. Some of these are ugly. I wouldn't wear any one but the black or the red one. Being number 12 and 19 being the best ties to choose from. 12 and 19. Keep that in mind. Okay, moving along. You picked out a nice suit, you picked out a nice tie. What do you need now? You need a hat. You need some sort of hat. Some sort of cosmetic, as you will. What do you want? You could have anything. You want some Kevlar? 1300. You want a black bandana? Almost 10k. Forget about it, it's made of Gucci. Scarves, I recommend a pink one. They, uh, they really make the character pop. Uh, it's just personally what I think. Glasses, I just, you know, you can't go wrong with the monocle. You really can't. It's the most expensive one in here, and it just it makes you look so badass. I I personally rock the monocle. And hats, you, you there's just no 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 comparison. You always 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 go for the top hat. This is eighty thousand dollars for a top hat all right it's the most expensive one i think they have in here i believe pretty sure it is Eighty thousand. It's just so beautiful though I, I recommend it to everybody it's uh it's only appreciates in value and then if you really want to be a fancy whore you can uh put on a mustache rock all three for a very classic rich villain look it's how i usually roll but uh, yeah, to come here, you just I'll pull up the mono market or mono tablet here. You can see exactly where this is on the map. It's not too far from the supermarket, just down the road from the re reality office, which we'll get into right now, actually. All right, so you just got some fresh clothes. You're looking fly as hell, but you ain't got nowhere to live because you're a broke homeless bitch, and you got you ain't got no reality, reality, reality. You come to this guy right here. He's a great guy, and he gives you a list of uh, things you can choose from here. You got warehouses, which are quite expensive. I do not recommend these if you are first starting out. It is uh, very expensive to own one of these first starting out. Get something in your price range. Shoot for uh, shady apartments, you know, 
cheap little stores. Very cheap. Think think in your price range, all right? It's it's not necessary to own a property either, in my opinion. You can easily just, you know, post up in an abandoned apartment that's been left unlocked and unattended. There's no need to waste money. If you can save money, always save money. But some people don't want to be homeless, and I can understand that. Having a home in in this town is a status symbol, right? And the nicer one you'd have, the better off you look. If you get a shady apartment, one is caused to look down on you. However, if you get an apartment in Richard's Drive, <laughs> while you are incredibly stupid, you are probably one of the most toughest gangsters to be uh, posted up on Richard's Drive. That's a that's a that's a that's a bad neighborhood right there. But it's also one of the nicest neighborhoods. So now that you got a house, now that you got clothes. You're going to need to pay for that house and clothes. You're going to need a job, right? Well, luckily for you, there are three options readily available in this area. All in the same all in the same area. All right, so let me show you where that is. The clothing store is not too far from where we were just at over getting where we were getting our clothes. Hang on a second. Mono map. As you can see, you can be a taxi driver. Um, talk to this guy right here. You join job, boom, taxi driver. Come over here to this lady, spawn in your taxi. And right there it is. You're ready to go. You're ready to start your taxi job. Unlock your car door, hop in, control puts it in first person, and you're off to go. Nice. I'm going to quit my job. Can you tell me what it's like to be a uh, Taco Bell driver? I actually am just trying to figure out where the Taco Bell truck is. Ah, okay. Yeah, no problem. Come over here. I'll, I'll show you. Here, come over here. It's this guy over here, actually. You need a carrier device and license to spawn vehicles. Oh yeah, you need to get a uh, you need to get a driver's license. Here, I'll take you to where you can get a fake one. Unless you want to get a real one. Real ones are kind of expensive though. Yeah, this guy right here. Um, you can where talk. Where do I get my money out? Uh, you gotta go to an ATM. How much does it cost? Hang on a second. Okay, it's three hundred dollars for a fake career driver's license. So just go to your ATM, get three hundred, come over here and buy that off of him, and then you can drive. Uh, you can drive career shit. Okay. You can you can drive career cars, I should say. We join our job. We join our job as a Taco Bell employee, and then we come over here, and then we talk to this lady and spawn in our truck. It starts right there. Pull our keys out. Open the truck up, get in. We can back the truck up over here to fill our food up. That lady there, change food truck name. Oh yeah, you can change your food truck name. Um, could be anything you want. It could be uh, shit tacos. Oh, I guess I guess it can't be. Um, poop. No, never mind. Um, so you come over here to this lady, and I'd like to restock my Taco Bell truck. You're okay. That's just as simple as that. Now that we got our goodies, we can go around and feed the hungry people of Rockford City. It's a very noble profession, and you can make some decent. Um, there's another job a little bit like this. It's a UPS driver. Essentially the same thing. I'll take you to where you can get that job if you want it. Oh yeah, you can also be an EMS. That's probably a lot more fun, but I think your player level needs to be a little higher to get it. And you would come to the hospital and you would talk to some of the EMS that are inside the hospital. There's a couple of NPCs around the hospital. You just kind of have to look for them. Oh, yeah. Um, 
Um, in here is the UPS station. You go talk to one of them goons in there. They'll teach you, they'll tell you, well, at the right level, you'll be able to get a, a UPS driver. And that pays a lot better than a Taco Bell or a taxi driver. All right, so uh, here is where you can become a mechanic. If you want to uh, fix people's cars for a living, that's something you can do. You can quit your job. Quit your job with this here, lock the car up. wait one second join yes all right this is where you can become a mechanic and when people uh, want to or their cars break down you can use your wrench right here and go around and fix people's cars for money uh, make them pay before you start fixing their cars otherwise you won't make any money from them if they don't want to pay you then don't fix the car it's as simple as that I mean unless you really want the XP you can fix their car but Sometimes you can force a couple of bucks out of people and make some money for yourself. Alright, well, now that we've uh, gone through all the basic jobs, you've decided, well, I don't want to be a taxi driver, I don't want to be a Taco Bell driver, I don't want to be a mechanic, um, I'll be a fireman. Yeah, I can be a fireman. Come over here, open the firefighter's uh, place, talk to this guy, say you want to join the firefighters. Boom, there you go, I gotta wait a minute. But you come here, you come to him, you ask, you go through there, talk to that guy right there. You can spawn in your fireman's truck or EMS vehicle or whatever. And then you can respond to emergency situations with the cops and the EMS. Alright? Now if you don't want to be a, you want to be a firefighter, your next step would probably be maybe you want to be a bank guard. You can come over to the Bank of Rockford right over here. say you don't want to be any of those everything we've talked about you don't want to be none of that you can come and defend the bank as a bank guard they give you fully automatic weapons okay, get shotguns pistols you would basically be putting your life on the line to keep the money and taxes and the an economy of the town safe because it is constantly under stress from gangs and raiders and people trying to steal all the money inside. Just destabilizes our economy so badly. But that's what you as a bank guard would be uh, designed to prevent. You'd get weapons and you'd try to defend it as best you could. Most times you fail. Now if you've decided that everything stated above is not for you, all else has failed. You don't want to be a firefighter. You don't want to be a taxi driver. You don't want to defend the bank. You want to do something a little more righteous. You want to defend the people of this great city. You want to be a, a, a police officer. This is where you'd come. You'd come here. I'll show it on the map. You can pop open your mono map like so. See where this is at. It says police station. It has these nice handy little uh, table of contents you can look at here to reference if you get lost. This is where the police station is. You can come here, you can talk to this police recruiter, and once you're of appropriate levels, uh, you can make it to any one of these ranks. It's a lot of grinding to get through the police. Yep, this is where you can come and be a police officer, you progress through the ranks, you can bust criminals, you can patrol, and uh, eventually you can become a SWAT, um, which in most cases usually is for uh, bank defense like if uh, the bank is being raided they'll call in SWAT or if the mayor has gotten kidnapped they will call in SWAT you know things like that and if after all that you've decided that none of that seems like it's for you then you can you can take the criminal route you can buy guns and you could rob the bank you could kidnap people you could do whatever you want really it's an open-ended game lots of things to do here on monolith RP Thank you.